I don't know if I'm reinventing it, but certainly it's a new perspective on what people might call art. Gregory Sinclair is one of the new breed of working class artists who rally against the established art scene. His work is a vicious diatribe against the celebrity infatuated culture we're a part of, and he makes no attempt to hide his political leanings. He has received stinging criticism from at least four quarters of society, most notably from feminist movement WABA. Despite being loathed by a large majority of the public, his work has been embraced by a few critics, and he has a very elite client base. One of his most controversial works, Talks and Robbers, was sold to Elton John for an undisclosed sum. For me, it is about subverting imagery which we are bombarded with constantly from day to day, but it's also about asking sort of questions for those who we find in this imagery, but also about taking art, you know, and feeling that you don't have to have some sort of license to, to be an artist in, in the form of a formal education, but can actually make art relatively easily and that everyone should feel that they can do that. One of our more political pieces, I suppose you might say. It's uh, my work usually focuses more on the subversion of media. I have become more interested recently in anthropology, and I'm of the belief that all people originate from uh, Africa, and that's really a statement about that. Well, I'm not sure, hopefully my work will be taken seriously as an art form, not only amongst people in the, the galleries in London and Paris and all these places, but also taken seriously as an art form by everyday people who maybe have grown tired of being bombarded with false imagery. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.